Rolanda came here 15 years ago, after university, and never returned home. My dad once said she'd come to India to get away from me, her bossy older sister. When I heard she was involved in taking poor village people to the cities to make clothes for rich multinationals, I was a bit shocked. In England, we'd been watching images of buried garment workers in the collapsed buildings of Rana Plaza. So I called her and told her she shouldn't be helping the big Western brands who were exploiting the cheap labour markets in the developing world. She said I was being a typical middle-class lefty and that my lifestyle was built on hundreds of years of exploitation. Stop being so judgmental and come and see for yourself, she said. This is what I found. This is an incredibly ambitious policy to train 500 million workers by 2022, which means India would have gone from 2% of trained workforce to 50% trained workforce in 14 years. So we're taking the masses from the countryside um, and we're reaching deep. We last year trained and placed about 10,000 young people, all uh, originating from Orissa and parts of Andhra Pradesh. It's very wild, very remote, and not a great deal of opportunity to earn cash as long as you stay in the village. There's two very different ways of perceiving what we're doing. Yeah? They can be adversely incorporated. Or should we look at it another way, and we could broadly associate inclusive growth with the neoliberal, mantra and as soon as they're attached you know you're away chutti <laughs> it's it's going you know they'll also get the benefit and trickle down will result yeah